right. Good evening to all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Marsorel and welcome to SEAT. So today is the kickoff of a very busy year for us. And presenting the all new SEAT Leon is definitely the best way to start it. So we are here today at the heart of SEAT, where the new generation of our bestseller, Seat Leon, is being produced. So as you know, uh, Luca De Omeo left the company at the beginning of the year. And well, it looks like uh, it's a day full of news uh, today. And so Luca left, and as a consequence, our ex Karsten Isenze, our executive vice president for finance and IT, took over this role three weeks ago and is now our acting president. So just a few words about Karsten. The least we can say is that Karsten is a multicultural top manager of our company. Effectively, before landing to Spain last summer, Karsten has worked on almost all the continents for the Volkswagen Group, Germany and Slovakia in Europe, South Africa, South America, and China was actually his last destination before coming to SEAT. So Karsten, you are just missing uh, Oceania, Australia, and Antarctica on your list, and uh, you will be capable to claim that you have worked on all the continents for the group. So tonight, Karsten will start and will deliver a quick corporate overview of the company. This overview will be complemented by uh, Wayne Griffith, our Executive Vice President for Sales and Marketing. Wayne will specifically focus on how Leon has been, is, and will be important for our business. Then it will be time to reveal and discover the car. And Axel Andorf, our VP for R&D, and Alejandro Mesonero, our Director of Design, will highlight the key design and development points of uh, focus. In a nutshell, it will be more the description of the making of, of the car rather than a long description of all the features of this brand new car. So now, please, with no further delay, welcome Karsten Isenze on stage. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to SEAT. As Christian has mentioned, it's been three weeks since I took over, and it's definitely an honor for me to be here with you today for such an important moment for our company. Today we are presenting the new generation of the Leon, our best-selling model, and the context couldn't be better. 2019 has been another record year for Seat. We have sold more than 570,000 cars, the highest number in our 70 years history. And we have also achieved one of the best production figures ever, as we produce more than 500,000 cars here in Matorel. My colleagues Wayne Griffiths and Christian Vollmer have clearly done a great job, and you can see they are still smiling. Now, SEAT is on the right track. We have a clear strategy and a solid product range. We could so say we have done well, and now we want to do even better. The new Leon family you are about to see is the result of a great teamwork under the leadership of Luca. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank him for his effort and dedication over the past years to take this company to another level. The launch of a new model is always exciting because it's a project which the whole company participates in one way or another. In the case of the new Leon, we are talking about more than four years from our super talented professionals here in Barcelona. And listen careful, an investment more than 1.1 billion euros, mainly in vehicle development and in the improvement of our production facilities. Not that I want to highlight my financial side, but as you can see, we've put all our efforts into ensuring the success of a model that has already made history here at SEAT. It will most certainly remain a key pillar for the company's future. Ladies and gentlemen, my message is clear. Today, 
our great 2020 product offensive starts, setting us up for the next phase of growth. Let me tell you that I've driven the car already and it's simply amazing. From its new level of drivability to its outstanding design and many other things you will see throughout the presentation. Now I leave you with Wayne Griffiths who will explain just how significant this car is for us. Thank you all very much. Wayne. Thank you. Thank you, Carsten. A warm welcome from uh, my side as well. It's a great pleasure to have you here in, in Barcelona for such a special event for the world premiere of the fourth generation of the new Leon. But also, I think as well, a great occasion to um, celebrate our success uh, at SEAT. So I'd like to begin by giving you a quick overview of where we are. 2019 was a, a record year for SEAT in terms of sales, as Carsten said. 574,000 cars sold. Uh, that's a sales growth of over 10%. And this 10% growth rate, we have been achieving that now for three years in a run. For three years in a run, see it has been growing with the double digit growth. And for the second year in a run, we've achieved a sales record. We are now the clearly fastest growing brand and the biggest growing brand in terms of growth in Europe. Uh, we grew sales last year by over 50,000 cars. So let's have a, a quick look at the, or go through the, the individual markets. Obviously our home market, Spain, our most important market. Our team here with Michael Palomera doing, and his dealers doing an excellent job. 9% market share. Clear leader in the market uh, with, a, with a gap of I think about 14,000 cars to the next competitor. Now all we have to do is stay there, but I'm sure he will uh, do his best to achieve that. Uh, our second biggest market, uh, Germany, also an exceptional performance there. Very important market for us. We achieved 4% market share. But we have other markets that we're particularly proud of, such as Austria, uh, a relatively small market, but a market where Seat is on the third position. So the third best-selling car in Austria is Seat with a market share of 6%. And in the UK, in Italy and France, we've achieved record growth sales in 2019. In overseas, our core area of focus, are Latin America and South America, in Mexico, we increased market share against previous year by 0.3% and got to a market share of over 2.2%. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think the, the sun is not only shining in Barcelona, but shining uh, over Seat at the moment with these, these great, great results. So where do the results come from? Obviously, a lot of hard work of all the team at SEAT across all the areas. I think, however, the biggest impact has been our product offensive that we've been consequently implementing over the last four or five years with the launch of the SUVs at Teca Rarone Terraco. But I also have to say that the Leon and the current Leon has been one of the key pillars for achieving these results. The Leon now... Um, in its fourth generation, or we're about to present the fourth generation, it's had three generations, has sold more than 2.2 million cars around the world. So we have 2.2 million Leons. If we would line them up, one after the other, then they would start here in Barcelona and end up in San Francisco. And over each generation, and with each generation of the Leon, we have been improving the car. And for me, I think the biggest game changer was probably the third generation of the Leon, the current Leon. With back then, um, Alejandro, it's revolutionary design. I think a big, big step forward. A car uh, that allowed us to attract customers 10 years younger than, than the average in the market. And with a huge conquest rate, conquesting 70% of all customers from other brands. The other big step, together with the design, was the launch of the Sports Tourer body style, which allowed us uh, new targets, family targets, but also in, in the fleet business. The Leon is not only the best-selling car for Seat in 2019, our most important model with over 150,000 cars sold, but also the best-selling car in Spain now for the past five consecutive years. So a great success, a great platform and base um, to build on, but also I think a real tough job 
for our designers and our engineers to come up with an even better Leon, the fourth generation, a great, great challenge. But I think, and I'm convinced, and you'll see it in a minute, that they've achieved this with the fourth generation. I think it is the best Leon ever in our history. Axel Andorf and uh, Alejandro Misanero will give you the proof later in terms of content, so I won't go through all that, but just one anecdote from my side. When, when I joined SEAT three and a half years ago and I came on my secret interview, I had a, a look behind the scenes with Alejandro. Luca invited me into design and said, Wayne, if, if you want a reason for coming to this company, I've got one. And he showed me the Leon, the Leon prototype back then, and I was so convinced, so motivated by this car uh, that I came and joined the, the SEAT team. This car created 100% in Barcelona, designed in Barcelona, developed in Barcelona and will be built in Barcelona, is the best and most seductive Leon ever. This car, inspired by this city, this city of light, this, this city of uh, sun, I think inspired by the architecture, but also inspired by the people with this optimistic and easygoing lifestyle, and not only that, with a great team of designers and engineers working in our plant. So we're really, really proud of our new Leon, as I said, the best Leon um, we've ever built. And now here is the proof of what I've been promising. And this is what happens when our designers see the sun. Please welcome on stage the new Leon. Welcome New Leons, the Leon and the Leon Sports Tourer. So, and I'm really happy today because now they are officially allowed to leave their home without camouflage and show their beauty to the world. So, a warm welcome also from my side to our guests uh, and on my side on behalf of the whole SEAT development team, which is really proud today after more than four years of hard, intensive and focused work to present you the New Leon here and today. And I fully agree with Wayne, uh, this is the best Leon ever made. Of course, the very successful third generation was the basis, but also only the starting point of what we will present today. And as you all know, creating something better of something which is already very successful isn't an easy task. So maybe up front, let me briefly tell you what I will not do today. I will not enumerate all this huge list of topics and great features we add to the new Leon, 
but I think it's more dedicated to the team, which were working very hard, and I would like to explain how we came to the nice products we see here today. Nevertheless, later on, we will be happy to go more in details and discuss uh, the one or the other topic with you. Rather, I would like to really invite you to the journey to a kind of retrospective of the teamwork we see and the results we see. More than four years ago, we went to the drawing board and outlined the strategy to make a great product even better. And from the very beginning, it was quite clear what was already said before that the Leons will be a core pillar of the brands in the future as well. So what we usually do at the starting point of a project is we take feedback. We take feedback we receive from your other journalists, from our internal and external customers, but also what we as engineers learned from our dear competitors. And all these feedback, all these learnings we put together in a kind of performance profile and we define the criteria which later on should be the characteristics of the new car. Of course, afterwards we do a kind of prioritization, but then we start working. And when I started here at Seat some 11 months ago, what I found was a product developed with a clear direction. Besides many of the already existing characteristics from a predecessor, the team decided to put special efforts on additional topics. And we will see them later in the performance profile here. It's for sure the connectivity of the car. It's an intuitive UI operation concept, driving experience, a sophisticated engine portfolio, for sure it's safety, and last but not least, like always for Seat, it's the design. And design as one of the elements and core topics of our DNA was in the past success factor and will also be success factor in the future as well. But not to step too deep in the field of Alejandro, if you ask me, uh, I cannot decide, I like them both. And I'm really convinced that this is also highly appreciated by our customers. The next point we were focusing on was the topic of connectivity and UX. So Wayne already mentioned, we at Seat, we have the youngest customers in our segment, approximately 10 years younger than our competitors. And in addition, we have the highest usage rate of Apple CarPlay and of Android Auto in the industry. So we decided that the Leon should be the first fully connected car for Seat. And as connectivity only works if you have a really intuitive UI operation concept, we worked in this direction. The overall idea was to create it really convenient, or maybe as Wayne would say, uh, to create it in a way inspired by the easy going lifestyle, lifestyle of Barcelona. Um, so this is what we did. And we were focusing on something which the customers already used to. And what everybody is used to is the daily experience of having smart devices. Doesn't matter if it's a smartphone, a tablet, whatever, but this was what we were focusing on because what we did not want to do is to bring something where the customers later on have to think in a new way where we have to educate or teach them or even have to push them in a certain direction. It just should be convenient and they just should jump in and know how it works. So what we see over here is more or less the same as using a smartphone. One example, for example, <laughs> is the touch slider. And this shows exactly how easy it could be. I think it's very intuitive. Yeah? It shows a function just by switching and wishing backwards, forwards. Yeah? And with a double finger touch, for example, on the, on the temperature bar, you can start or adjust the seat heating. If you do a double finger touch on the middle bar by using the navigation system, you can zoom in and out the map. So everything is really intuitive. And we think we, what we created here really meets the requirements of our customers. In addition, we put lots of buttons out of the, of the car and created a state-of-the-art digital ecosystem. Also supported 
by a very intuitive and natural voice control. Just activate it by a short hola hola and then you can talk to your car and the car talks to you. Besides all this, we take special efforts when it comes to the power chain portfolio because you know, nowadays it's very difficult to, to have the right setup because cities starting with restriction in different ways and closing up for customers. And the customers, of course, looking for alternatives. And therefore, we set up a huge range of engines, starting with a petrol engine, with a plug-in hybrid, with a mild have in the petrol engine, with CNG and diesel. So I think everybody will find the right engine which fits its lifestyle. And last but not least, safety. You know, me as a family father, I have two daughters and they recently received their driving licenses. If it comes to cars, I'm always focusing on safety. And with the fourth generation, we make a huge step and we have a long list of safety systems in the car, in the New Leon, which really serve the safety of the car. One of my favorites is, of course, because it's a very nice symbiosis of technology functionality with design is a safe exit assist. It's nicely integrated in our interior ambient light so that it's really work well together with the interior design. So frankly speaking, and to be honest, when I arrived here uh, in March last year and got all these informations of the projects, I had to admit that the team around Matthias Rabe, my predecessor, did really a great job so far with regards to the concept of the car and everything. And when I thought to myself, uh, because I was really loaded with lots of ideas what to do when I arrive here, I came to the conclusion and asked myself, hey, why did the hell they hire me? Uh, joke aside, um, besides of lots of other projects which are in the pipeline and the development of the future portfolio of the, of the brands, uh, everybody of you knows the last 12 months of a project are also very decisive to the success of the project in total. You have to work on the majority of the parts and the car in total, and you also have to fine tune lots of elements and details. And this is what we did. For example, the driving experience was one of the aspects we truly perfected within these last months. And I remember very well when I drove the Leon for the first time on our proving ground in ERA. And afterwards, I discussed how to set up with the chassis team of Markus Skyde and, and John Roch. And we really worked uh, on how to, to set it up. And step by step by step, we achieved this fun creating and agile driving behavior. By the way, including a dynamic chassis control, which can be also adjusted by the, by the driver on his own uh, with a DCC slider. So this is also something we really put some characteristics in the car which are special for the Leon. What did we do? You know, we made, for example, the steering more precise and more direct around the center point and made the dispersion between the different driving modes more concise. And I'm sure you will feel this. And frankly, I'm really looking when I saw, look in your eyes and saw you entering, leaving the car after your first drive, having a wide smile on your face. Talking about fine tuning is also something which is very important for us as it comes really to the interface between the car and the, and the driver. And what we have over here is also, again, the touch slider, because this is one of the most important interfaces between the car and the driver we have here. And in many of several meetings with the electric electronic teams of Joseph Bonds, we really set the touch slider into a sensitivity which fits perfect, yeah? which is not too sensitive or too insensitive. Uh, so that everybody can really feel comfortable and uh, that the slider does what the driver wants him to do. Yeah, and believe me, we had many, many of these discussions and many, many iterations and rounds which served to fine-tune the New Leon's behavior. And finally, I'm proud to say that there's maybe also a little bit of myself in, in these New Leon's. Finally, what I'm really sure about is that there is also a lot of design in the New Leon. So a big portion of the credits should definitely go to the design team, which is really motivated always and inspired by our chief designer, Alejandro Mezanero. And I'm happy to welcome him. 
Alejandro, please get on stage and tell us personally about the new Leon and how the new Leon serves the overall design strategy of our brands. Thank you, Axel. But before releasing you, I would like to ask you a question because I'm sure that our guest tonight would love to know which is your favorite part on the Leon. Which, by the way, I tell you, I don't know. He didn't want to tell me in any rehearsal. <laughs> so just tell me now. Uh, yeah, because I think he expect me to say it's the design. Um, I love the design, but what I like most is really um, that uh, we were able to put. Uh, in the driving behavior characteristics on the car which really serves the great and sporty design you and your team created and this is my favorite because there is a promise and with the driving behavior we can fulfill this promise good thank you thank you thank you very much so good evening good evening obviously today the main protagonist is the leon family but i would like to explain to you how we got here so you can better understand where we are standing now. In 2012, we introduced our current Leon. I think that from tonight, I will have to start calling the previous Leon. A car that worked very well. I think uh, Wayne just said it. A car that helped to put Seat back on the map. 2016 was the time of the Ateca, our first SUV. A car that took or the borrowed the design language of the Leon, but we adapted that design to an, uh, the architecture of an SUV. 2017 was the time for the Ibiza. We introduced a more sophisticated sculpture. And the same year, in 2017, also the Arona brought some freshness and personalization to our customers. Finally, 2018, the Tarraco arrived and showed us the way for our new front end. So basically, all what we have done during the last few years was marking a very ambitious path towards a very ambitious target, the target of seduction. The Leon is the first car that epitomizes this ambition. It is the first car of an exciting generation of cars that is starting here and tonight. Car designers, I think we are facing a very tough job today because the world is getting extremely complex, a lot of complex messages, visual diversions, sometimes contradictory messages, and it is very easy for us to fall in the temptation of overstyling our cars, of giving too much complexity in order to be heard and to stand out from our competitors. The approach that we took with the Leon is completely opposed to that, because I believe that good design is about simplicity. It's about avoiding unnecessary complexity. So with the team, we took the courage of simplicity while still keeping a very strong character. You must be wondering, how did we apply this thinking or this philosophy in our new Leon? We had two approaches, proportions and design language. Proportions because I really believe that validity of proportions determine the beauty in a high degree of any car. It is about the basic proportions of a car, the length compared to the height, the width, wheelbase, overhangs, and so on. But there are a few more secrets. When we were starting the project in 2016, I proposed the team to play a little game. I asked them to create, to come up with some shapes, with some surfaces, very simple in order to define the proportions of the Leon. So the result is exactly what you see here with no lines at all, those surfaces, but the result is what you see. So we came up with, uh, with a proportion that had a very long hood compared to, over, to the overall length of the car, pretty low and with a very uh, strong vertical front end, almost negative. But of course, proportions without lines or surfaces without lines doesn't say much. We cannot sell them very well, Wayne. So, we had to add some lines which describe and define our style that make us recognizable. If you look closely to the uh, new Leon, basically on the side you see only three lines. Not more, not less. These are the lines that define the whole style of the body side. 
Because I think that lines, they really need the space to breathe, the space to uh, express themselves in order to have a strong visual impact. And this is actually where simplicity comes in. Actually, to better explain where or how obsessed we were about this uh, simplicity on the design, I will tell you a small story that happened in the studio. When we started the project, or during the process uh, development, but very early, the, uh, during one of the meetings with the team, uh, Danny Garcia, the exterior designer that was chosen for the exterior of the Leon, came with a sketch with a very nice proportion, very simple in, term, in, in the design. But um, I think um, there, I told him uh, I was still bothered by by a line, by something that was too much, a line too much on the side. That was the opening line of the hood that was splitting the front fender in two parts. So we hard, we worked hard in order to delete this line, but obviously because the hood has to open, we put it above the hood. And we created actually the fender that you see here with only one character line, nothing else from the side, and this concept of uh, what we call a uh, clamshell hood. We had a lot of um, discussions, epic discussions with our colleagues from production, from engineering, uh, you can imagine, but finally we achieved exactly what we wanted. And I have to confess that this is one of the things about SEAT, that we might, we are a small team, we might agree or not in some, in some things, it's normal, like every couple, but in the end, when we know exactly what we want, and we see the advantages, we go there straight away. By the way, Axel, I told you, I will tell you my favorite part is actually the fender. Well, it's actually the fender and the hood. I know it's a big part, it's like 20% of the car, but I really love the achievement that we made with this, with this front end of the Leon. The second approach, it's about the design language. And uh, I would like to talk to you about more precisely about the inspiration. Because you, journalists, many times, you ask me which are my sources of inspiration or my team's sources of inspiration. Sometimes I answer you with a joke or sometimes I tell you the truth. But uh, true is that uh, Wayne just said it. Uh, we really get inspired by the city where we live, Barcelona. It is not about um, museums or going to a particular shop or an exhibition or a bar, although the bar might help sometimes, that we get better designers, that we are better designers. This is not the, the thing. But in global, I think the whole experience of living in Barcelona, the uh, extrovert spirit and the character of the people being out very often and uh, getting really in contact with the city is what it creates the right atmosphere and the right mood, mood in order to be creative. But if you ask me more in detail which were the, uh, the items or which were the inspirations more in detail about the Leon, I will tell you that I, I get very much inspired by the human body. Funnily enough, if you talk to or if you listen car designers talk, we talk very often in terms of a human body reference or language. We talk about the waistline, we talk about the shoulder, muscles, front end, rear end. So for me, it's a very natural source of inspiration, the human body. Very often, I show the designers, among other photos, other pictures, pictures of people. And I try that the design actually inspires, or those photos inspire the design. With the Leon, I show them a picture similar to the one you have. I don't think it was the one that you have exactly behind, but similar of an athlete, because I wanted to make sure that the car, the Leon, the front, has the same behavior as an athlete. Just like someone very focused in the performance with a determined view in front, ready to exercise, ready to pounce. And this was enough to really get this inspiration. It's not about a bodybuilder, it's about an athlete with well-educated muscles, it's about the internal force that the car has when you look at it. I could talk to you 
more about the design. Probably with some of you, I will have the opportunity to talk after the show. But um, I think my time is, is running. And uh, before um, handling to Karsten, just I would like to synthesize in a nutshell what the Leon is for us. The Leon for us is the beginning of our future. The Leon for us it's our inspiration, and all what comes from now on will be heavily inspired from what you saw and what you heard here tonight. You will see one more thing, and I finish. You will see, um, or you saw already, probably, uh, in, the, in the rear of the Leon, a new typography, a new lettering. This is because I really believe that we needed to give to this new design language, a much more personal style, a bit more curvy, more emotional, something that really fits our car and with a nice human touch. So now, yes, um, I'm finished and I would like to call Karsten Isense again on the stage. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alejandro. I can only say I really love this car. Hope you too. And this was a great job to the whole team. And I think it has become clear that we set ourselves ambitious goals for the fourth generation of the Leon. And the result is just amazing. The Seat Leon has always been a core pillar of the brand's vehicle lineup and the reference point for the segment with sales of more than 2.2 million cars over its three generations. Today, society is asking for new mobility that is easier, safer, and less harmful to the environment. And we, as SEAT, respond to these demands with the new Leon, which will be available in two versions that you can see on stage, the hatchback and the sports tour. Both achieve the next level in terms of design, connectivity, safety, and also in terms of efficiency, as they will be available with a wide variety of engines, from traditional combustion engines to electrified versions. In summary, a great project created and developed here in Barcelona at home. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only the beginning of a year full of novelties. Get ready for our next appointment, because in just one month, the new Cupra headquarters are going to open their doors. And believe me, you don't want to miss a Cupra event. Thank you all for joining us today and hope you like the new Leon and our customers as we do. Gracias and enjoy the evening. Thank you.